Okay, welcome to today's tutorial how to use the Mega Flash Drive on the MSX. Um, as an example, I'm going to use Open MSX that has Mega Flash ROM SEC Plus SD installed. So here we go. Let's uh, start this thing. First, it's going to create a Mega Flash ROM. This is going to take a while. So it's creating a hard disk. It shouldn't take too long actually. Anyway, when this happens, just let it calculate. Make sure that you can do replays and all that stuff. Okay, first of all, let's just start Open MSX normally. Okay, the first thing you want to do is select all these files. You do that by holding your spacebar, type in C, and copying it to B. Uh, yes. Now I don't know if I actually created a um, disk file. Give me a moment. Basic. First of all, <laughs> call F disk. So we select our flash ROM. Uh, we've selected number one since that's my first flash drive. Turn all available. Okay. Uh, is it the logical units available on the device? Okay. Okay. So it's sorry. It's the second one. Okay. Uh, so so it's it's a two gigabyte one. And I'm gonna go add a partition. And that's gonna be. Show partitions. So all is allocated. Escape. Write the partition. Yes. Are you sure? Now it's creating the partition. The first option that I was selecting was the uh, flash ROM. So the disk ROM. You don't want to touch that one. Okay. Great. Now reset your computer. Fast forward a bit, okay. There we go. I'm gonna go to disk number two. You do that by typing two, or you type a one to go to disk A. Now we're gonna copy everything from here to disk B, which is now your mega flash ROM. I'm gonna fast forward this. There you go. Type in B, okay. Now I'm gonna push reset. I'm gonna hold my up key from the cursor keys by up key. Okay, here you see that you can erase your Mega Flash ROM SEC Plus. That's when you have a ROM loaded into it. You have a Mega SD kernel. You have a erase disk ROM. So I'm gonna erase my disk ROM so that my SD card is actually directly booted into. Uh, here you can see the all the information and you push escape to exit now we're gonna boot directly into a and your disk b isn't have isn't there anymore since your disk a is now your regular drive so here we go we we have everything ready so what i'm gonna do now is i am gonna um, do a dir as disk and I already had something ready for you guys uh, roms and open I thought I did dir as disk but whatever ok sorry about that and that's roms right yep push ok and Go to B. There you go. I had a last day and a vampire killer. So now we are gonna create um, a directory called ROMs. I'm gonna go into ROMs and we are gonna go into the disk B. We select these, we copy these to A ROMs. Fast forward for you. Okay, 
So now we're gonna go back to one. So here we have ROMs. Now we select Vampire Killer. This is one way to do it. This is already built in, standard into the Mega Flash ROM. And we are gonna reset the computer. As you will see, Vampire Killer boots up. But that's not really what we want. I mean, everything is in uh, Chinese, sorry, Japanese. That's a big difference, sorry about that. Okay, so in order to go back to your Mega Flash ROM, you boot, you hold your S key cape, your escape key, sorry, and it will boot straight into your moment okay there we go so now we go into um, I'm gonna create a directory called sofa run which we will call SR now I'm gonna cop I'm gonna select a different Dira's disk one moment and this Dira's disk is called sofa run new I believe I have everything that I need yep Okay, now, B, select all the files, and I'm going to copy this to A, SR, and I'm going to fast forward this, and there we go. So, here we go, I, are you sure escape, oops, didn't mean to do that, but whatever, so here we go, DRW, SR less oh sorry <laughs> okay so here we are here we have our sofa run now what I like to do is I like to go into the ini files should have actually put at as edit one moment pushing E. So here you have your saves, you have your temp, you have your settings. I normally adjust this to be this in one directory. For example, SR um, is so far run, but for now it's okay. So here we go. We have everything here. I'm gonna go by pushing F1 and Q. There's another ini file we can work on, which is a sofa rom. Edit. Just push E. Settings. You can set your game master path. Just read up in, in the instructions on how to do it. And that's about it. F1 and Q. So now we're just gonna start sofa run. So for run definitely is the best way to manage your ROMs. So here we go. We go into the upper directories, we go into ROMs, we go into Vampire Killer. Here what I do is video mode 60 Hertz, erase VRM yes, not necessarily needed. Um, ROM type auto. That is fine. It's economy, a rap mapper, but whatever. Um, Game Master version M62, M62 plus double R. We don't have to set that. Default, international. Okay, so here you can set some other settings just to apply and start. So previously, you had your vampire killer in Europe, uh, in Japanese. And now it's going to be readable for non-Japanese people, um, assuming you don't read the Japanese. There you go, Vampire Killer. And that's how you set up so far run. Uh, you can do disk images, it automatically will uh, mount your, um, your disks if you want to mount a disk directly in um, 
your Mega Flash ROM SSC Plus. To get out of the disk, you basically push the zero button or you erase your disk ROM. So that's one way to do that. Anyway, hopefully this was uh, handy and um, you took something from this tutorial. Okay, have a good one.